What's up guys and welcome back to Epic Journey Through the Bible. Thank you so much for tuning in today guys. It really means the world to me when I see the views, the likes, sharing, subscribing. I really appreciate it guys. All the support really is a motivating factor that gets me excited about making these videos. So thank you so much for helping this channel grow. Today's question is what is sanctification? So some of you may know that justification is where we're justified by our faith. And Jesus said that justification is really an instant process that takes place uh, when a person accepts him as their Lord and Savior. So then what is sanctification? We're looking at Matthew chapter 5. We're going to zoom in on the Beatitudes and we're going to look at how this, this little tiny passage of Scripture has so much in it and I'm going to try to get through this as quick as I can because this really, you could teach an entire seminary course on this, but we're just going to look at this in this one worship thought video today. Okay? So, Jesus starts off the Sermon on the Mount by saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Meaning those who have recognized their own spiritual poverty have accepted God's kingdom, meaning they now have salvation assured to them that in the future they will be saved because of their acceptance of Jesus and of their, their realization that they need, that they're spiritually poor and they need him. The next uh, verse says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. This is not just talking about mourning the death of somebody, although I do believe Jesus will comfort those people too. This is referring specifically to those who are mourning their spiritual condition. Again, they recognize their spiritual poverty, they begin to mourn that spiritual condition, and now they come to Jesus in sorrow for what they have done because they realize their sins crucified the Son of God. Third one, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Jesus is saying here very clearly that the next step in sanctification is that you are mourning your sinful condition and then that gives you an attitude of meekness and humility because you recognize you're not better than anybody else. You're a sinner, they're a sinner, ground is level at the foot of the cross. Next one is, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. So when you get that attitude of meekness, now you start to crave God to pour into you and you're hungering. It's not just appetite. Hunger means you're actually, you need it to survive. You recognize you need God's righteousness in you to survive. And so you're begging him for his righteousness and he pours that into you and fills you up. Next one is, blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy. When you are being filled with God's righteousness, you start to treat others with mercy. Instead of judgment all the time, you're looking to be kind and gentle and merciful to others. Next one is, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. As God's mercy flows into you, and as God's mercy flows through you, you then begin to have a pure heart. God transforms your heart and gives you a heart that's not like your old heart, but it's a heart that's pure and more and more and more like Him. The next one is, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. So we become more and more and more like Jesus until the point where we actually are like little mini Jesuses carrying the gospel, wearing the shoes of peace from the armor of God, carrying the gospel of peace to others. That's what it means by peacemaker, not just breaking up fights, but taking the gospel of peace to others. And as a result of that, we begin to be called the sons of God, not capital S, son of God. Not, we're not actually Jesus. We're not here to save the world but we are here to be the hands and feet of Jesus and to share his gospel of good news with the world. So we are then bringing the gospel of peace. We are peacemakers. Next one, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When we start to do this, the world will start to treat us the same way that the world treated Jesus. And that wasn't very well. They killed him. They tortured him. They crucified him. So the world is going to start hating us just like they hated Jesus. I'm not saying you're going to get crucified, but I am saying that the world is going to treat you badly because that's how they treat anyone who looks more and more and more like Jesus. Because there's sin in this world, and this world doesn't like God's pure righteousness. Whew. So that's the step-by-step -step progression of sanctification. Justification takes place at the very, very beginning. And that's theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When you recognize your spiritual poverty, when you recognize you can't save yourself, Jesus says, okay, you call out for help to me, you're saved, justification. But then he takes you on that step-by-step -step process of sanctification so that you can give your life to him more and more fully and walk with him every single day and be more and more like him and share his message with others so it spreads the good news to the entire world. 
God bless you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope it wasn't too long. Have an amazing day. Push the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe, push the bell notification. Watch another cool video over here. Peace, love, and the joy of the Lord to each and every single one of you. Have an amazing day. Enjoy the waterfall.